It is my great joy and indeed a privilege to conduct the marriage ceremony and join in holy matrimony these two lovely people, Stephen and Taunton. I have to confess that I quietly raised an eyebrow when Taunton told me her name first of all. It's an unusual name, which I first assumed to derive from her parents' love of Devon, some fond memory of a Taunton hotel, or may indeed be ancient Celtic or garlic. Sadly, the truth is more pedestrianised, for it occurred as a result of a simple mix-up on the birth registration form. The parents decided that it must have been fate, and left the error unchanged. Isn't that right, Taunton? Fate, though, had a further joker to play when it matched Taunton with Stephen Dean. But welcome, both of you, and all those you love here today, and also your in-laws. I am certain that in the presence of God, we will share a time together that you will remember forever, particularly if somebody does burst in with an impediment at the appropriate point. That has not happened yet in any marriage service I have conducted this year, although I was, in fact, in attendance at a wedding only last month of some dear friends where the presiding minister himself had something of an unfortunate impediment. Never before have I witnessed a marriage service led by a minister with chronic Tourette syndrome. Poor chap just couldn't help it, and it was strong stuff too. Certainly he used the F word at least 15 times in his short sermon. It was racy stuff to be sure, and the first time I've heard of an official wedding video being given an 18 certificate with a warning about use of explicit language. Parents with children should have been warned beforehand. To make vows before God is one thing, but to swear like that before him is something else altogether. Marriage is a union of equals. Although more accurately, a civil partnership is a union of equals, whereas marriage brings together a man and a woman with the intent, deliberate or otherwise, of them raising a family. Marriage is a gift from God, rather like socks are a gift from a loved one. Socks, in the context of marriage, should be given only to each other as a demonstration of a couple's love for one another. No socks should be given outside of marriage, irrespective of whether you gave socks to anyone before you were married. I hope this makes clear the whole tangled issue of socks and marriage. Now, as you find out more about each other, Stephen and Taunton, maybe as you sit on separate sofas in your front room and email each other from your respective laptops, or text each other incessantly and thus lose the use of vowels, you will indeed come to realise that you need to work together to overcome the hurdles and fences that obstruct the track ahead. And so we come back to partnership again. An image I want to present to you is one of a jockey and a horse. Here we see. In the symbiosis of Frankie de Tory and Champion the Wonder Horse, or indeed Roy Rogers and Tigger, or Lester Piggott and Willie Thorne, an alliance built entirely on trust and empathy, and the occasional use of a whip. Thus we see a symbol, an allegro of marriage, with Stephen in the character of a jockey, and Taunton being something of a horse. I hope you do not presume I am saying that Taunton looks like a horse, quite the opposite. But as a jockey rides a horse, so Stephen and Taunton, I hope you will be very happy together. 
Another way of considering the partnership, if it helps smooth ruffled waters, Stephen, is in these enlightened days of equal opportunities, of new men holding babies and drunken ladettes using a she-wee, it is fair to say that when it comes to lifting and carrying, this will still remain your role. I do not feel I am guilty of sexism when I say that, Stephen, you will be the one who carts things around. Your role, then, will be that of the cart. And in front of the cart, there is none other than our dear Taunton. Again, to regurgitate, this is just an example, although admittedly it is an example where Taunton ends up unfortunately likened to a horse, a mistake I will endeavour not to make again. Galloping onwards, it is lovely to see both sets of parents here today to celebrate the joining of groom and bridal. And this ceremony marks a transition whereby you each gain an extra set of parents, as well as a toaster and a pile of towels. You may feel it appropriate to ask your respective in-laws that special question. Can I call you mum and dad? Now, when my own wife, Sandra, plucked up the courage to ask that very question of my parents shortly after we were married, my father somewhat misunderstood and said, Of course you can. The phone's upstairs. I did not receive any brains off my father. That is a fact. In fact, later tests showed I didn't receive...